Simsy, how you all doing? Welcome back to some more Napoleon Total War here today on the channel. We have episode 6 of my Great War modded campaign as the Germans. This is episode 6. Alright, so in today's episode, we're going to be dealing with the Italians. We're going to deal with the Italian job and hopefully try and eliminate them. Also, we're still dealing with the war on the Eastern Front after securing the Baltic in the last episode. And we might make plans and preparations as well to eventually invade Britain after in the last episode successfully taking Gibraltar. We will and we will do and, and we'll need to rebuild the German Navy that's just been absolutely smashed by allied forces. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. Alright, we're going to continue eastward like I said and we might even try and push for... What is it in this? Petrograd? Leningrad? St. Petersburg? Whatever. And we'll continue eastward as well. Also, um, at some point, once these units get to the eastern front, we're going to be able to show off the, well, gas howitzers, the tanks, and the flamethrowers as well. So we're going to be able to have some late game warfare. How fantastic is that? We've also got some German snipers here as well. But anyway, let's have this first little battle here. Nothing too crazy, just a nice little cheesy and cheeky auto resolve as we push into Torino. And we'll continue the siege. Actually, might demand surrender. Oh, it actually worked. You're joking. Oh, that hardly ever works. <laughs> Mostly the French. And maybe even Belgium and some other military forces and the Russians. The R Russians are never going to accept, but... No, why have they done that? Oh, well. We'll get some reinforcements here. We might actually just be able to run the rest of them down. Um, we'll give chase, try and hit this one here as well. And we'll, we'll make an army push for Milan. Just try and stop those reinforcements coming on in. Yeah, let's push up to the fashion capital of the world. <laughs> okay. Move the snipers in support. We've got a reconnaissance plane currently over Vienna. And we want to try and get line of sight here down in Rome. The Eternal City doesn't have a large garrison. Well, I guess we'll just fight these armies here. I think they've just actually withdrawn, unfortunately. Like, quite unlucky. Like, I think they're stuck there. So if we hit this one, that's going to draw the other one in. Yeah. I don't know why they didn't stand and fight. Fighting near the city would have given them more cover. But anyway, let's get stuck into the Italians. You could have fought with me. But now they're against us. The German Empire facing the Italians. We could have had an Axis. But unfortunately, the Italians have sided with the Allied forces. Which is surprising. You wouldn't think they would after the fall of France, but they have in this campaign. Maybe next time around I should go with unhistorical focuses, essentially. Just have a bit of a, a wild and wacky World War One, just to change things up a bit. Because, yeah, from a lot of, what I've learned now, it's it's hard-locked alliances as well. Because I can't even seem to get alliances with Sweden or, or some of the neutral countries. Because that's what you kind of want to do in your playthrough. Like, you want to try and influence other neutral countries and vice versa. Like, it'd be kind of cool if, like, Spain joined the Allies or, like, Sweden joined the Central Powers, you know? Alright, as we form it up here. Our first battle on the fields of Italy. Looking at the battle map firstly, this might be... The fields of Italy might be a little bit more conducive to artillery warfare than compared to 
the thick forests on the eastern front that we've been dealing with. And in the shade of olive trees, the German Kaiser's forces are shelling the Italians and they're trading back and forth. A nice blue sky on the fields of Torino. Or Turin. Which is more close. It looks like it's closer to Turin. On the map. Here are the Italian forces. Yeah, maybe Italy might be a cool series to do. Maybe don't side with the Central Powers, all the Allies, maybe forming your own Roman Empire might be quite cool. It always is with the Italians. Oh, we're shelling the general there mostly. Five German infantry, 15 artillery. Mostly field guns and howitzers and big guns, nothing too crazy. We haven't got our super heavy artillery in this build. But still more than capable enough to destroy a full stack. But it's not your the super heavy artillery build that we've got rolling on over in Russia. Speaking of Russia, over in the east we should have early World War One tanks. And a couple of other lend, uh, end, late tier units as well that we can show off but thankfully the Italian command is all over the place as it always is they had some shocking battlefield results <laughs> in World War 2 and in World War 1 here and there and it looks like history is repeating itself slightly <laughs> as they don't know what they're doing being indecisive there is probably what's killing them. They do have some artillery, but we've got one Italian unit in retreat, nearly the entire army, and that's some pretty bad RNG for them. We've managed to snipe and take out the general within only a handful of minutes in this fight. So... They should capitulate soon, you think. The cavalry can't make the distance. Avante, muchacho! Avante! <laughs> As they try to advance and move. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! Oh, here we go. Now they're starting to charge. Which really helped the Russian offensive. They did have a lot of cavalry, but they've just squandered it. Alright. Some of the Italian divisions are in range. But their battalions are just getting absolutely bashed. And smashed on in. So, we've got two full stacks pushing eastward into the country. Trying to secure northern Italy. And I'm slowly but surely building and recruiting an army in Bavaria. To march on through the Alps. For quite some time, I feared a push from there, but the army's nearly done. As one brave Italian unit tries to make their way to the front German line, they're not going to be able to. What are we getting in from here? Okay. Some units there trickling in. Yeah, I'm surprised they demanded the, or accepted the surrender, to be honest. I think the pathfinding cooked them. Because normally, demanding the dis surrender, what they do is, oh, okay, we're going to, sometimes the AI accepts because they go, oh, we're going to be able to fight for another day. Let's just move you here. But they retreated unluckily. Like, this army could have, like, the, I guess their plan and thought was, oh, we'll retreat back to Milan and, and get a better stand. Because... The settlement is basically lost anyway, but unfortunately they, they got pincered and fled and pinned up against the Alps. So I'm just trying to move my infantry here because what's actually, they actually got a really good and juicy angle here which we need to stop. Some of the 
Italian artillery has actually got an angle here, and they've got some cavalry up. We've got to make quick work of this, or otherwise that might be a decent cavalry charge there for the Italians. A lot of cavalry units being... deployed, and quite quickly disposed of. Yeah, I wonder if they've got better stats, like cavalry-wise, the Italians. That'd be quite cool if that was a thing. They might do. Alright, we've sent our five German infantry with the task of eliminating the artillery. Because they were hurting me there slightly. Just move to just a bit of, of a better, clearer position. Just get out of that tree line. I know it's providing a bit of cover, but they're so close and on the angle that they're not going to get hit. They're actually firing up and over us on our main line. Look at that. Look at that awesome angle. you got to give it to the Italians there. They've deployed in a pretty good area. Look at that. Nice and clear, and they're just firing into that position. Thankfully, we've managed to neutralize everything in front of the artillery. We've been able to swing around with my infantry. And finish off this artillery that we're in a really good position. Nice high ground here as well. A glorious little bit of elevation. Soon to be on. If they stood and fight there, we might have actually had a bit of a hard time dealing with them. But thankfully, due to taking out the general incredibly early on, we've had a good fight here. We'll go back into cinematic shots just to get a front line shot of things. As firing up on to the top of that hill has won us the day. Right, what's further back here? More Italian cavalry joining the slaughter. I'm sure the Germans will be able to eat well today. <laughs> or oh, we'll be able to make a lot of... I don't know, what could we do with the horses? Oh, there's more artillery. It like, looks like it's spawned on in here. Make some more books. The horse leather, I don't know. Get more glue for the glue factory. I didn't even see them. They only came back into the line of sight. Just trying to run down here the last of the Italians. Our infantry is taking a little bit of a battering, just trying to dodge shelling. My artillery has actually stopped firing, so maybe they're actually slightly out of range in this vicinity, but it's all right. By the time we get here, they should be able to One completely capitulate. Yep. Oh no, it's just the line of sight. They did. They were in range. They just weren't shooting, which is weird. Anyway, we've destroyed our first major full stack against the Italians. Perfecto. Bon appetito, motherfucker. All right. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, would you look at this? The Russians, during the end turn phase, have had a revolution. The Russian Empire is no more, and the Soviet Union has been born. I guess with the amount of... Well, they want peace, actually, if there's a new government. I was just curious, because that would actually buy us more time against the Italians and might allow us to go into a better position. No, they're not interested. I guess it doesn't really make much sense if... Imperialist Kaiser German Empire forces are taking so much territory. I'm sure they want to sort of like if they're losing this hard, like they are against us, it wouldn't make much sense for the Tsar, is more than likely related <laughs> to some extent. They all are. There was when when was when were they all like first cousins? In this one, I don't know. The thing is, most fam royal family trees are all related to, to some extent, even throughout history. Um, Queen Victoria, the grandmother of Europe. That was the quote, wasn't it? That was when there was a lot of close links. Alright, as you push into Milan... I can't remember all the royal links. There's other YouTubers for that. There's a, there's a couple of good ones. That charts guy, whatever his name is. I watched a couple of those. 
just going through like the royal lines and stuff. Who's the successor and what here and there? That's a good. That's a good YouTube channel. Something charts. I can't remember it. <laughs> anyway, I got more German tanks on the way because we are building an invasion force for Britain. Okay, still continuing on the Eastern Front. And we're not dealing with the Ruskies anymore. We're dealing with the Soviet Union. I wonder if their armies have changed as well. But that's really quite cool that they've done that. Oh, and they've accepted the surrender as well. The surrender as well. Oh, we can actually liberate White Russia if we wanted to. Oh, we might do that at some whack point, but... We want to try and take as much Ger uh, Russian territory for the Germans as we can. I wonder if there's a chance of that not happening. Or is it always going to happen that they switch on over to the Soviet Union? I think the Soviet army roster is better. Oh yeah, they have changed. Oh, did you see some of the units there? Yeah. We're running further back. Um, I do want to try and get a battle against the Soviet Union at some point. Because I want to show off some of the new units that we've... Got deploying firstly on the Eastern Front. We've got more tanks and stuff coming over as well. I can't wait to use them. Oh, they're, oh, although they're only like the first initial tanks, which aren't the greatest, they're still better than nothing. Yeah, everyone seems to be demanding mo the sur accepting the surrender. I don't know why. Because they're just allowing us to get into a better position and run them down. As Innsbruck is secured. I believe this was a uh, Austrian owned at the start of the campaign. Once the Italians took it, I did fear incursions from there, but thankfully their conquest has now been nullified as the Germans swarm into northern Italy. We'll send you north and we'll deploy you back. That was the Corsican army. Oh, opportunity to intercept. I think we'll take this one. And we've got a couple... Yeah, we'll, we'll play this one. That was that army I was trying to run down. In the snow, we can intercept this Soviet force and show off the flamethrower and the gas. All right. Nice, frozen Soviet offensive. All righty. Now, I haven't used these units in quite some time. Okay. So, let's move my artillery on the left. There's a huge look, a huge boulder in the middle <laughs> of the battlefield. I guess we'll use that to our own advantage. And we'll just try and sprawl on that out where we can. Something like that. Nothing too crazy. Now, there's only 12 flamethrowers to a man, so from what I can remember, they're kind of bugged, <laughs> like the shots of them. So we'll charge them up and see if we can get some shots off to get in range. I don't honestly know how effective flamethrowers are in the Great War mod. I don't think so overly. But we do have a gas, which is just an artillery piece. So we'll just try and flank and move the flamethrowers up. I know it's a bit risky. Actually, you know what? We'll fire into that and I'll, I'll try and show it off. Because we should be able to see it. What are these Soviet engineers just getting obliterated by a barrage of artillery pieces? And here comes the gas! Oh my god! Oh, the humanity! It kind of looks like um, a Skaven sort of warpstone bomb, but look at it. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. Artillery barrages, the 44th German Infantry Division getting your shots off. And artillery pieces, welcome to the Soviet Union, motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. That's a good one. Alright, let's get these flamethrowers in, if we can. Move to this position. Yeah, like... They just don't have the range on them, I don't know. As more... Infantry is getting hit here. Oh, some of my own is getting hit there, which is a quite... Awful. That's some pretty good shots there. I'm trading back and forth at the moment. A lot more infantry in this army. But here are the men of the Red Army. 
Maybe playing as a Soviets might be quite fun. Right, get to this position to try and get your shots off if you can. Oh, this is getting taken out. <laughs> oh, no. We're not even going to be using these flamethrowers. This is going to get... Come on. Form up. Come on. Can you get a shot off? This guy's going to pull out his Luger. Hans, pull out the Luger. Oh, no. They just got smashed. Oh, that's disappointing. <laughs> I could have sat them back. I just wanted to push them up. Oh, my God. Poor fella. Getting all decked out. 16 units to a man. I just wish they had a little bit more health. The gas seems to be working a lot more. Yeah, maybe they're more of a defensive unit. Oh, well. I wanted to get him in the action. I guess we kept him further back. That'd be all right. But it does look like the Soviet infantry is really charging me here. As they're trying to close the distance. Stop that gas going. But the, there's some guy with the banner of... The flag of the Soviet Union now. We've also got some Finnish Jaeger units now helping us out. As the Soviet Union, quite literally, no step back, is charging their infantry forward. Far out. Alright, thankfully we got enough infantry in this one. You might need to swing around to a different position. But they should have better quality units stats-wise from now on. I think they even get like a slightly upgraded army as well. As the Red Ruskies and their revolutionary soldiers charge on through. They've actually made it to the German line. They always like to send it, like full on send it. Oh my god, my infantry's getting smashed. It worked the last time. This time around it's working even better. Because we haven't softened them up nowhere near as much. Because we don't have as many... Artillery pieces. Holy cow. The German front line might capitulate. We might need to get some reinforcements here. Oh my god. It's 95% in our favour, but we're not looking too good. Looking a little bit green around the gills. Just need to deal with these reinforcements here. I'm trying to hit that general unit. We kind of need to take him out if we're lucky. Okay, we've managed to win on this right hand side, which is huge, but stop sitting there not doing anything fellas, swing around. Oh good, we won there, not in the per- like the- the centre there, oh my god. Fierce fighting is breaking out. Soviet General Stafford and- German and infantry. Oh my god, back and forth. We got the general there finally. What the hell's this? Oh, it's one dude hiding in the bush. <laughs> Go and bushwhack him, please. What are you doing down there, cheeky bugger? Kind of panicked because I thought there was more reinforcements and they came from behind. We might have been absolutely stuffed there, but we're all good. Oh wow. First field battle against the Soviets. Gas looked alright. I don't know if it was overly too effective. Flamethrowers. Wasted them. <laughs> but. Yeah, I don't know if I'm being. Like over analyzing it. Did that army do a bit better? Maybe. They should get it. You'd think they'd get a stat boost. As we push down to. Ear to lip. Oh, we've been intercepted here. But there's nothing. There hasn't been too many armies in and around. Rome, which is good, and we should be able to waltz our way on in. Rasputin assassinated. Ra ra Rasputin. Okay, well I've skipped a little bit ahead. We've actually managed to land a army on the British mainland. We've taken Rome. We're still fighting in Russia. But we've got a high tier quality enough army just to send one over to maybe try and make a play for London, uh, if we're lucky. We'll just have to see how we go there and how they respond. Okay, welcome to the top of the turn. So, they do have an army, but they're still out of shot. So, look, we'll play this one. We'll bring in my reconnaissance plane to get us some aerial 
superiority and some intelligence. They do have an army further back, but we actually might have our first fight on the fields of London here today with some tanks as well. Good, we'll fight this one. We can't demand the surrender even though it's been working, but we'll fight this one. We have an opportunity here to take London from the Brits. The Battle of London, 1917. It is absolutely pouring down with rain. Typical. Overcast as well. And we've managed to land German tanks. Poor Winston would be rolling in his grave. <laughs> if he had the thought and sight of German tanks rolling over Britain. I guess he's a young boy at this point. Probably in Africa somewhere. No, he'll be fighting on the beaches with his boys, maybe. I don't know. Alright, so, looking at this army field. Three units of cavalry, a little bit of infantry. Six units of artillery, one machine gun. And we've got some tanks as well. Some flamethrower support. So, we should be able to see all of it in action. Which should be fantastic. A lot of units there, though. Defending London. So let's form things up. Now, from what I've seen, sort of the... The best top-tier tanks are incredibly powerful. Quite expensive, but they are definitely worth it. I'm, I'm curious to see how our first little bit of taste and a tease of German tanks will do. It does take quite a while to actually get to them. Like, we've conquered France. We've half conquered Italy. It's not like we've been sitting back and waiting for superior attack. We've been conquering and pushing forward. Half of Russia has fallen. Now London is under siege before we can even have tank warfare. Which is probably kind of realistic going to the time period. But just a bit of word of advice. It does take you a little bit of a a while and take some time before you can get tanks in the Great War mod. I'm just trying to see where to deploy my cavalry. Maybe keeping them in the forest here might be the play. Keeping them on that left-hand flank is more of a opportunal position, but yeah, I don't know. Probably just going to get hit. But here are the tanks intertwining with the German infantry. And we've also got a um, machine gun here as well, so... I'd love to see these guys get stuck into the action. Maybe over here is a bit better. Can I move you there? Why are you facing the other way? It says you're not, but you are now. I wonder if these this machine gun nest will be anything like the Gatling guns of Shogun 2. So I guess we advance. Yeah, so we don't want to we want to try and advance because they can move, obviously. We want to try and move them up. Why shoot and move the same? I guess it is. To get into a better position. But here are the German tanks. Oh my god, what a beautiful sight. As the German war machine slowly but surely makes its way to London. And here are the Brits. Fighting them for the second time this series fought them in the last episode in and around Gibraltar. This time around, it's a different story. They're fighting for their homeland. As the Germans are shelling them from afar. We've got our super heavy artillery as well in support. Unfortunately, the machine guns are out of range. But here is the home guard. Every British Man's been given a rifle to defend London, which is what's making up the Home Guard. The tanks aren't yet quite in range and position, but they will be soon, I'm sure of it. As artillery is shelling the British position as they move forward. They do have some of their own. Look at that. A beautiful and a glorious sight. 
as the German tanks roll on in. We are definitely in range. I just want to try and get into this field now and try and get some shots here. As the German tanks are starting to fire into the British position. And we will try and get some machine gun shot there as well. Alright, we're just going to roll them a little bit far forward. There we go. Oh, here we go. The tanks are now getting their shots away. Perfect. Oh my god. They are shredding that home guard position. Look at that. Fantastic. Not the most mobile. I'm curious to see how long they can last out in the open field. Like, are they on par of like... What's the comparison? Steam, steam tanks in Warhammer 2? I guess so. That's what I want them to be. Now we've got machine gun fire going on here as well. Another unit that we haven't seen. Peppering the British left flank. Most of the British centre is being annihilated here with artillery and tank support. Oh. I was going to say, has any of the tanks been taken out? Oh no. I don't think so. We've got heavy artillery. Mobile mortar support as well. So it's not just how it's a spam. Tanks are doing well. You can tell because nothing's left in, in the middle. Continue to fire this as well. Oh, there we go. Dude. The tanks are awesome. In this mod. It's crazy how that's even doable mod-wise. I'm so impressed. I'm always impressed with modders. Selfless. Work for the betterment of the community. Quite often for hours on end with, with quite little pay. I thank each of you for wanting all your support. You've given me so much enjoyment over the years with mods. Just for all Total Wars. It's, it's kind of crazy. Oh no, we've lost a tank here. Are they bugging out slightly? Oh, there we go. There's a tank fallen. Oh, the trail. The tread's been knocked off it as well. So here we go. Here's an here's a infantry unit charging. How well are they going to do? Oh, they didn't last long there. I think that unit's broken on out. Oh. Oh, you got to be joking. Alright guys, welcome back. Well, unfortunately we've had a game crash. Um, I don't know what it is. I think it's just because there's so many units around London. But, I've tried to play this battle again, and it just keeps on crashing. So, unfortunately we've got to auto-resolve it. Typical, praising modders, and then the game crashes. <laughs> That's just unfortunate, more than anything, as uh, we roll on into London now. Now, we've been attacked here. Oh my god. Why is that so unfavoured? I guess we don't have a general there. Ah, they're going to make us fight this one. Hmm, this is going to be a tricky one, but we should be okay. Got the Battle of Smol Smolensk. I don't know why I found it so hard to say that. 1917. Let's play another battle against the... The Soviet Union. It's now and again. Couple of winter offensives we have had here. Alright, hopefully this one doesn't crash. But yeah, I do remember that tank warfare in this mod does have a tendency to crash here and there. And it doesn't help when there's a crazy amount of entities that they have to calculate. So maybe a battle like this, which is a little bit smaller. Not loading in buildings. Like, for example, the city of London. Might be a bit better. So we've had tank warfare on the western front. Now back on over to the east. Hope we can do alright against the Soviets. So, this army build 
is actually trying to resupply and rally up with the main general force. We do have artillery support only in the factor of gas. Mostly infantry and tank support. So we'll try and charge on up. Try If we can get to this clearing, we'll be all right. But they do have artillery supremacy, so we will have to close the distance. This is a cool looking battlefield. This is a little bit different than what we're used to. Artillery spam as it's a resupplying army that's been intercepted, unfortunately. They do have some tank support, while the Soviets don't. But this is a little bit more what you'd expect in the Great War mod. Artillery spam and tank warfare. Oh my god. Currently snowing. Not the most conducive for the tanks. Okay, but here comes the Red Army and the Soviets. Trading some fire here. you got to give it to the Russians. They are still holding on. As day by day more German infantry charges. Just need to get these tanks a bit closer up. We've managed to phase and gas them out. Brilliant. Just wish I had a little bit more artillery. Here we go. The German tanks have finally made it to the front line. God, that looks cool. <laughs> looks bloody brilliant. Bring down the Soviets. We've got some gas support here as well. We desperately need them to start carrying us. As the tanks move forward, so should the German infantry as well. Come on, they're bank smack in front of you. Try and bring them down. As the Soviets charge up with their tank crew and grenades. With artillery support. Oh my god, check out the carnage of this. This is what you wanted to see in the Great War mod. Tanks, gas, Soviets and Germans all over the place. Battling it out. As my tanks have actually been destroyed there. Oh my god. I think it was mostly due to the artillery. But their infantry has done a, a good work as well. I was just curious to see from the tank perspective. Can we actually see it? Oh no. So they're being caught. We're going to have to leave it to the last of my infantry here. We might have just straight up lost this one. The entire unit is oh, that's so annoying. So this really was just like a German... Convoy, essentially, like trying to resupply and refuel on the Eastern Front in some territories that we took. It got intercepted by Soviet forces that have ambushed and smashed us. We are going to try and take out as many of them as well, but we've lost, unfortunately, two tank divisions. And a bunch of infantry as well. Alright. Push the Soviets there that are taking cover behind the tanks. Oh, hang on. Have we lost this one? Come on. Because what's back here? Artillery. Oh, you know what? That's 95% in their favour. We can't pull this one out the bank. We've destroyed the infantry that charged on forward. We've got some artillery support of our own there. Oh my god. Charge! Brave Germans. Our men are running, sir. No way. This might be a crazy comeback if we can pull it off. Our they just need to weather the artillery sir. fire, which I don't know if they're going to be able to do. Oh my god, this is tooth and nail. Okay, so this is going to turn out to Our a very costly victory for both sides, possible. even if we do lose. They've actually ran out of ammunition there, so they're going to have to charge oh, manually. Running, Come on, there's only a couple more left. Go! No, no! Oh, so close. A close defeat. Yeah, I know. 
the duty, the call to duty, join the army, for home and country. Ah, oh, a defeat. Only 70 or so remaining though. Well, unfortunately on that note, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed episode 6. We had a bunch of battles here today. A huge variety as well. Italian, Britain, and Soviet battles. So stay tuned for episode 7 coming out soon. And we'll continue the Germany campaign. Alright guys, we've got to play the outro. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Check out my social media links in the description below if you want to stay connected with me. I also want to say thank you to this month's patrons and channel members. Victor K, Sebastian C, Jordan K, Caesar L, Brian S, Tao, Lion B, Kyle P, Tom C and White P. My name has been Simsy. Much love from Australia. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.